Hey everyone, welcome back to more political chatter. So I just wanted to um, make a quick video about Joe Biden's popularity. So, you know, it has seen a uh, turn for the best in the recent weeks leading up to today. I mean, we are looking at his approval rating. You know, he has been disapproved of for a while now, much more, probably almost double, um, he has been a disapproved of probably about double the time that he's been approved of. Yeah. Um, and, you know, as I said, he is not a very popular president. The highest approval that he was ever at was around, I'm just taking a guess here, was around 54%, 55%. And, you know, it's really is um not a good sign when a president's highest disapproval was 56%, when the highest disapproval was is higher than the highest approval. So, on, um, when was it? On August 30th, 2021 was the first day that he was disapproved. He really took a downfall, um, through August. And, you know, he has seen a steady disapproval for a while now, but about during May, he started going down even further somehow. And he was at one point, the lowest ever he was at was 37.9%. It was, it, things really got uh, scary for the Biden team when he got below 40%. That is a terrible approval rating. Saying that, let's see, saying that, um, about um about day hun day four hundred eighty six of Trump's presidency, Trump became more popular than Biden. Yes, that's right. For a while, Trump was more popular than Biden, and that involves why I made this video today. But anyway, um, so he was at thirty seven point nine, but things have been getting better for the president. On July 21st, he was at 37, and now he is at 42. That is plus 5%. So why? Well, I think that the biggest reason is inflation going down and gas prices, actually, more importantly, going down. Gas prices in my area have gone down a dollar since uh, earlier of this year, during the summer of this year, the early summer this year. And that's been a relief for many of Americans. The, um, and, you know, inflation on everyday items has gone down also. You know, going to the grocery store isn't as expensive now as it was in early summer. And, um, you know, the package that he was able to get passed through Congress, which included climate, um, and reducing inflation, you know, the climate change was definitely good to get more progressives who disapproved of him, approving of him, and, uh, what was I going to say, oh yeah, and the, um, uh, student debt, uh, reduction, that is, uh, you know, definitely something else to make progressives happy, you know, and make progressives approve of him, so his approval rating went up, and his disapproval rating went down, not as much, but still went down, so, when is this stopping? It is showing no signs of stopping since July. It has gone up a bunch, went down a little, a point, less than a point actually, and it just keeps going up. Look at, look at this spike that he's on right now. Look at that. That is a steep spike. That could go up to 50%. I do believe that by 2024, Joe Biden will do better in his reelection campaign than um, then I am predicting right now in, um, in August 2022, and that everyone else is predicting right now for August 2022. That's if the election was held today, but in 2024, if I did my predictions, if the election was held in 2024, I believe, or I would, um, give Joe Biden a better boost because I, I've always thought, um, you know, Biden will be much more popular by then. And by the midterms, we have seen it in the midterm elections too. Senate candidate, gubernatorial candidates 
who have been or who are, um, you know, who are nominated by the Democratic Party have done better in the recent weeks because of Joe Biden's spike in popularity. We see this with Catherine Cortez Masto. We see this with Raphael Warnock. We are seeing this with Josh Shapiro, John Fetterman. We are seeing a huge boost for these candidates, Tony Evers especially. Um, we are seeing a huge bo- Oh, Mandela Barnes is the best example, though. But anyway, sorry, I keep going on and on. But we are seeing these huge boost for these 2022 candidates in these, you know, recent weeks because of Joe Biden's increasing popularity. So when will it stop? I don't think that on this huge boost he's on, he will get to 50%, but I think he's going to come pretty close. I could see him being at a 48% approval rating by the time this thing stops. So, but more realistically, 45 which I definitely do think he'll get to. And so he's at 42. He is at the highest since April, since this mark right here where he was at. Where is it? 42. I don't know where it went. There it is. Wait, no. Let's see. So he is at 42.4. I think it's right here. Yeah, 42.9. So he is at the highest approval rating since april 24th wow that has been a while so yeah he is going up and he is at the lowest disapproval 53.4 since 53 since um may 17th 2022 so a bit later after april so i did want to make this video now because This is big news. So as I said, Trump has been more popular than Biden at this point in his presidency for a while now. Look at that. And Trump was thought to have been such an unpopular president. However, this is great news for Joe Biden because on this day, he is now more popular than Donald Trump at this point in Trump's or at this point in his presidency and at this point in Trump's presidency. That is great news. I mean, news or that shouldn't even be happening, as Biden was thought to have been much more popular than Trump all throughout his presidency, but that has not been the case. Um, looking through everyone else, um, let's take a look at Ronald Reagan because I do believe that, if I'm remembering correctly, yeah. So this is extremely interesting. I thought it would be like this: Joe Biden is more popular than Ronald Reagan at this point in Reagan's pres or at this point in, in his presidency. And the same point in Reagan's presidency. Isn't that amazing? And Ronald Reagan won all but, he won 49 states in his re-election campaign, Reagan. So that just shows you how different things can go, you know. And, and, you know, um, looking at that, this is his four-year span. See how little we've actually, uh, see how little we have actually, you know, gone through in his term things could change so easy easily you know it seems like such a big mark when biden went underwater but if we're looking in the four years that is not even that you know that was not even um uh that's that was, that was so fast into his presidency you know if we're looking at it in his four-year term and look at how big that spike looks in the four-year term and look at how big its downfall looks wow that is amazing how fast that happened all right so anyway thank you all for watching this video make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yes i am starting to work on episode two of election 2024 so yeah thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time